So when you don't trust your kick, you look up too early, which pulls your body weight back, which makes the ball go around. So when you're the parent, the teacher, the coach, and you're watching from up that angle, just look at whether they are keeping going towards the target and are they looking up too early. Just a couple of little hints to uh, make it right. We'll see how he goes. So he's going to run. Don't do this stuff again. Try and limit it. It will move, but make it more here than out here. Because it's again, a ball that's coming from this direction with a leg coming from this direction, it's hard to coordinate them. If they're coming this way, it's easier to coordinate it. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, with footy you need to uh, vary the start. So we've uh, had a handball off the ground. We can catch it in the air, all of those things. Every time you need to get your hand set again. So always load the gun, get it ready so that you're ready to kick straight away. The ball ends up always in your hands. Sort it out to get it exactly right. Here we go. Sort it out. Beautiful kick. Okay, as a, a parent or a teacher or a coach, some of the things you need to note from where your position is, is where they finish with their, uh, where they carry the ball for a start. So the indication is, if the ball, and you can see the beautiful spin line, if it's over the wrong foot, they're doing too much wobbling. They're not carrying it, as we say, in the channel, which is basically straight in line with the leg. So we try and eliminate the movement by keeping it in line with the leg the whole time. And you know, you can practice it with a, uh, a, uh, a hose at home, or a, a line on any, tennis court or on the footy oval as well. So it's important to have a look at that. Next thing you can look at is really a big telltale sign of where the ball goes and why it went over there is typically people kick and finish with their foot over the wrong side of the line. And uh, it's a lot to do with leaning back and not following through, but you have to kick and finish straight so your feet are on the same side of the line. So when you're standing up there watching it and their foot especially this plant foot is turned out like that. It turns your hips around and tends to make you finish up over there and the ball goes flying over there. So it's all about plant foot being straight and we're coming through straight and finishing either side of the line. If they tend to do that all the time, practice kicking on a, uh, on a hose. Putting yourself straight in front of your, uh, your player, it gives you a lot of information that you can uh, give back to him. Luckily, we've got the spin line that really helps us identify and give us immediate feedback as to where they're carrying the ball and where their feet with the uh, hose here tells us where they uh, place their feet. So let's just watch and see. So you see the arms are going all over the place, typical of ball coming inside, and then feet swapped over, finish the other side of the line, ball is going definitely right over to their, uh, their left. Okay, this time we're going to look from the front and he's going to hold the ball over his right thigh, really important. Luckily we've got the uh, beautiful yellow spin line that's going to give us great feedback straight away as to how, it's, how much it's wobbling. It's always going to wobble a little bit, but uh, not too much is the important thing. Have less moving parts. The less moving parts we have, the more success, the more consistent our kick is. And watch his feet to see which way they finish on uh, the sides of the hose. Where we go. Perfect. 